for coming tonight. We have a very special uh, privilege this evening. We've got some dignitaries that I'd like to call up to the stage. One of them is CSU Channel Island's brand new President Beck. And if you go to my Twitter feed, you'll see her jumping in oobleck, both feet, and not even coming out with any goo. It's pretty amazing. So I'd like to welcome President Beck to the stage to say a few words about STEM, Cal State Channel Islands, the Science Carnival, and all of our partners that made this event possible. President Beck. Thanks, Phil. What an incredible evening. If you have not yet tried the oobleck, over there. I was just dancing on it. It's really quite extraordinary. So I highly recommend it. Um, what an incredible evening. So many people out here. Let's hear it for science. And this evening would not be possible if it were not for the really generous contributions of time and funds of so many people. And so I'm really delighted to have the opportunity to thank them. And really first among them is Dr. Phil Hampton. So can we hear it for Phil? Since the moment that I arrived on campus just a few short months ago, I have heard about the Science Carnival, and it has lived up to its reputation. So I'm really glad to be here. Um, and I'd like to thank all of the people who have invested their time and their talent and their treasure into this year's carnival. First, I'd like to thank the California Los Padres chapter of the American Chemical Society Lunars and party pleasers for their financial contributions. Thank you to the city of Oxnard and Carmen Ramirez for your longtime support of this event. Thank you to the Oxnard City Corps and the Oxnard School District for your assistance and for your personnel, many people here this evening. And there are so many community organizations that are here with us this evening, um, running science programs within our county, including VC STEM, Society of Hispanic Professional Engineers, Moore Park, Ventura, Oxnard Colleges, CLU, the Ventura Library System, Wainimi, Pacifica, Rancho Campana, and Newberry Park High Schools, Appeal, Kidstream Children's Museum, Discovery Center, the Adolph Family, Boys and Girls Club. There are so many partners. Can we give a round of applause for all the partners? And I'd also like to recognize the many Cal State Channel Island students who are here this evening uh, helping with, all. let's hear it for Cal State Channel Islands. <laughs> and finally, I'd like to thank Amgen for their incredible support of the Science Carnival and of so much that we do here in the county and the region and their support of um, so many of these pieces. And I'd like to specifically recognize Eduardo Setlin the, and um, I'd like to welcome him to the podium. So let's welcome him to the podium and let's hear it for science. Thank you, President Beck. Thank you, Professor Hampton. It is a privilege to be here tonight representing Hampton and the Hampton Foundation. Um, most folks know Hampton is up the grade in Thousand Oaks. Uh, this is a company that uses the power of science to help uh, patients fighting very serious illnesses. Uh, through the Hampton Foundation, we try to inspire the next generation of scientists, folks just like yourselves. Um, an effort like today, the Science Carnival, is the result of the work of a lot of different people. Specifically, there's an organization called VC STEM that's doing some phenomenal work. This is a collaborative effort. It brings together academics, it brings together the government, it brings together industry, the military, the nonprofit sector. We're very proud to announce a grant of $100,000 to continue the work that BC STEM has been doing over the years. Bill. Thank you, Eduardo. I should mention that Eduardo is president of Amgen Foundation, and we also have here our, uh, our, our colleague and partner in VC STEM at Amgen Foundation, Jessica Halloran, and she's here as well. I'd like to uh, recognize uh, Superintendent Cesar Morales, who's here representing Oxnard School District. They provided the porta potties that arrived just in time this morning. A lot of coffee, perfect timing. 
Thank you, Cesar. And we also provided the beautiful school, Marshall uh, Elementary. Uh, it's great to see so many students and parents uh, throughout the county uh, having a lot of fun with uh, folks in the science industry, professors, graduate students, celebrating a day of science here in the Oxnard School District in the community of Oxnard. Those of us here in the Oxnard School District know we've made a commitment to STEAM education and we have a science strand built in throughout our district and we're very, very proud of that. We're proud of the partnership we have with Dr. Phil Hampton and Cal State University Channel Islands. We hope it gets stronger each and every year. We were a little scared this event might go to another community, but guess what? Our partnership is stronger than ever, and we look forward to serving you in the Oxnard community and throughout the county as we celebrate science here in the Oxnard School District. Have a nice evening. Yes, we, this event wouldn't be possible without the generous support of Thurgood Marshall Elementary School. And so I'd like to call out Principal Marlene Breitenbach. Thank you for sharing our site with us. That's a, thank you for sharing our site, this site with us. I'd like to now call up uh, Carmen. Rivera is one of our lifelong supporters of the university. I met her early on when I was hired at the university. She's an amazing woman, so supportive of Oxnard our community, and the Science Carnival. Thank you. <laughs> uh, good evening. Buenas noches a todos. How exciting for Oxnard to boast our school district and our city, our police department, our teachers, our community, to host this event driving here. It looked like a rock concert, and I think it is. And I believe, like you believe, in the youth of our city, you are making the future better for all of us through science, through education, through our educational institutions at all levels. I love you. I love Oxnard. Thank you, Dr. Phil. The other Dr. Phil. So at this point, I just want to thank all the you who came tonight for supporting the Science Carnival. Continue to have fun, enjoy yourself, learn lots of interesting science. Ask those students and uh, community members at the activities to explain it really well. You can explain it as a college student needs to be explaining it. So thank you for coming. Enjoy yourselves this evening. Let's give a big round of applause to the volunteers who made this impossible this evening. Thank you all. If there are BC STEM uh, designee, I mean uh, BC STEM VIPs, please come up to the stage. We're going to do a check presentation and a photo op.